we're off to see the muffler man those of you who are familiar with my channel know that I well I don't know if it's an infatuation but I love to see the muffler men those fiberglass figures from the 1960s that are 20 to 30 feet tall now before you turn the channel this one is gonna be good because I came across a man in Phoenix Arizona who has a muffler man in his front yard plus scores of other pieces of I guess what you would call Americana and here it is this is absolutely fascinating this is without a doubt one of the most interesting private homes I have ever seen okay I was once on a home that was made out of an airplane so maybe this is number two on the list let's look around and see what he has I don't know if this is part of the collection or if this is just a warning to people like me. And we are not on California 66, but we might as well add this to the Route 66 collection. All aboard! There is just so much to see. This is absolutely unbelievable. When I was a kid in high school, my grandfather gave me a 1923 Model T Ford that I rebuilt and used to drive to school. They were rock hounds, so they had lots of property full of stuff. Mm -hmm. Abraham Lincoln's bed and you name it, they had it. The real bed? Yeah. That probably is what got me started in collecting junk. But when I was a little kid, my room was, my bedroom was full of I had signs on the wall, on my walls. But I really didn't get big into it until I bought this house in 71. So what attracted me, of course, was the uh, muffler man. Yeah. Um, but what, if you had like a prized possession, what would it be? That would be it. That would be it, huh? Yeah. It originally came from Broadway Street in San Francisco. And the guy bought it for his wife because she was a doll collector. And, um, she didn't really like it. So since she drove by a place and there was a muffler man with a for sale sign on it. So I went up wow. and bought it. So when I loaded it, it took 13 of us to pick it up and put it in the trailer. I had it here for quite a few years and then I sold it to a uh, safety shoe store. And they went out of business and sold it to a lumberjack lumber company. And the lumberjack lumber company closed down that yard and I bought it back. bought all the penny arcade machines and the ceiling fans, chandeliers, wow. and um, you know I sold all the penny arcade stuff that I had. Um, that's two years ago I had an antique store down on Grand and Indian School. Okay. And um, when they built the overpass over the train track on Grand Avenue, it uh, took the building that I had. So I just moved everything home and I, I've never sold since. Yeah, I had 2,000 square foot building full of jukeboxes and pinball machines. And I'll show you the inside of my house. Wow! This is unbelievable. I don't know what it is. Well, I, I know what it is. It's a vacuum cleaner. But somebody is painting it up because it was a bar decoration. You can hook a hose up to it and then so he would squirt water out of his nose.
I wanted them to be like Harry Potter glasses. Which... There's a Titan Missile Museum in Tucson. And I guess that sign probably came from there. I just got that to, last week. And this I just bought this last Saturday. Now that's different, isn't it? Well, what is it? It looks like it's for kids to sit on. Well, but it's for a merry-go-round. It is from a merry-go-round. There it says buy, sell. You do a lot of buying, but you don't do a lot of selling, Don. Right. <laughs> See, there's a uh, Batmobile that would sit in front of a grocery store and you put a quarter in and, and it would bounce around. And I got three of these horses. This one came off of a roof of a motel in Gila Bend. See, this is my path to get into my house. Phone booth that I bought in Seattle, Washington. Potato Head is a grocery store ride. Yeah. There is your first place yard of the month. Don said he's not really the yard of the month, but he thought he'd put it up. And goodbye to the muffler man. I, I think it's so interesting and so kind of people when you just stop out of nowhere and they take that much time to show you around and invite you into their home. He might not really be the yard of the month, but maybe he should be. One of the most fascinating private yards I have come across. I want to thank Don Parks for showing me around. It was uh, eye-opening from Phoenix, Arizona and the most unusual yard I've come across. I'm Mark with the Average Me Channel. Uh -huh.